Alright, hey Jared, rockarachi.com, 987fm.com, and of course the sideshow countdown with Nikki Six. Alright, hey, to my right, Gavin Rostell. Gavin, thanks again for taking time out. Of course. Yes, you got some sun, man. I know. It's sunny. Yeah. It's hard. I try <laughs> and avoid it, but I got like skin that does this. Right. It's it the tennis. The Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, um, one of the reasons why we're here is because you're playing the Sunset Strip Music Festival mm -hmm. with Bush yeah. back together. Yes. And this entire office is completely stoked about this. Oh, amazing. Um, how did this Me all too. come to fruition? Um, it just came about from just giving up waiting. Mm -hmm. You know, I've wanted to do this for some time. Right. I found me and Bush, it's, it's the same coin, mm -hmm. you know, so. I just was really eager to try and get it done, and other attempts had failed, and this one, I won. I just decided to do it, so mm -hmm. it's really exciting, and um, record's finished, single's out, being played, right. and the reactor's been really good, so I leave tomorrow for the East Coast, mm -hmm. and uh, some shows there, and then I come back here to play the Exmoor Festival. And I just want to make it clear, that it's just all original members. Everybody's um, uh, correct. No, it's um, it's me and Robin, right? Uh, the drummer and Chris, who played in it partially, right? And Corey, who never played in it, but he's mm -hmm. been playing with me for some time. So that was the thing that I was w holding out for the perfect return, the perfect uh, um, members, um, original members. But it didn't work out like that. So I, I couldn't be happy with what I got. What can I tell you? I mean, right. that would have been good and would have been great, but. You know, life, you gotta roll with it. Sure. So, um, and the new single, can you tell us briefly about that? Sure. Um, it's called The Sound of Winter, and um, it is somewhat of a probably a traditional Bush sound, and it's got a wicked guitar solo by Chris Trainer, and a small guitar solo by me in it. So, there's actually two guitar <laughs> solos in it. And um, it's a really exciting track, and you know, when you write songs, you never really know, you write a lot of songs, and for some reason, this is the one that there was the front runners that is to open the record. There's a simplicity to it. Mm -hmm. um, I always think that you know the simpler the song, and musically, if it's simple, it gets it across easier, sure. you know. And um, I guess there's a there's a lyric that people are connecting to. There's a there's a there's a something about this this, this impending doom, and people have that, you know. Uh, you know, people Buddhists talk about life is suffering and. And so we have these moments of perfect time, this perfect, yeah. and you want to bottle those moments and keep mm -hmm. them up. And then just when things are going great, you know, something happens, it's like a look, a word, a glance, and things change, you're like, oh no, man, what's going down? And there's that, there's that sense of foreboding in this song. All right, so listen, since we, we've talked to Gavin, this is probably our fourth time, and whenever I go back and edit the interviews, I always feel like, man, I really, don't get the essence of Gavin Rossdale like I wish that I would have. So I was determined today on the drive. I'm like, I'm gonna really get to know you better this time and not drive home and what, be like, am I evasive or something? you are. You're you're enigmatic, man. Seriously. <laughs> but but I feel like today there's a different kind of energy with you. So I'm gonna go for it and we're gonna do Rockerazzi rapid fire questions with Gavin Rossdale. Let's do it. Um, do you believe in predestin of predestination of fate, Mr. Rossdale? Not so much. Not so much. Okay. Um, have you seen a therapist before? Yes, and I will again. Good. Uh, do you collect anything? Um, I, I, it would seem clothes because I'm a magpie and I find it hard to get rid of things. <laughs> okay. uh, like vintage clothes? Or? Yeah, just, I don't know. I have a tough time throwing things away. Now I've got two sons. I say everything's for them anyway, so I'll keep it. You're a hoarder, is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, not quite. I would never make it to that show. <laughs> okay. uh, I'd be pathetic, right. uh, uh, lame on that show. All right. Um, what's your specialty in the kitchen? Pastas. Pastas. What's the one thing that you have to bring with you on the road? My toothbrush. Oh, that's, we've heard that before. But oh, sorry. I know. Oh, I forget it. I, I don't know. want to be, I don't don't want to be like get, obvious. All right, all right, go. My right. Chemical Romance, like at Park, everyone's bringing a toothbrush. Come on. Well, give us if we want to smell good. Um, <laughs> uh, um, a great attitude. Oh, gosh. Okay, nature or nurture? Nurture. Really? Can we elaborate on that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I think that, that the, the talent is one thing, but I think that um, to apply yourself to something, and Malcolm Gladwell you know, coined it perfectly with the 10,000 hours thing, mm -hmm. that it really is opportunity and nurturing. Mm -hmm. And the rest is, is semi-hogwash, unless you have to be a really fast runner. <laughs> okay. Are you Jewish? I'm uh, 
partially, so I am in fact Jewish. Uh, is your mother Jewish? No. So they're not. You're not really Jewish. That's so hard. I know. My parent. I'm Jewish. She's not. We want. Uh, do you do the chrismica at home? I chrismica. No, no, no. I just. I just. I grew up in a in a Christian household. Okay. Right. So Christmas is. But my grandfather was Jewish. Okay, well, that's, well, you're kind of part of the tribe. There you go. I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm Jewish. <laughs> okay. Do you have any tattoos? Oh, just of my dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, hey, Jared, rockarachi.com. Gavin Rosso, thanks so much. I Thank feel you. like I got to know you a better. bit better. A, a I, bit better. I, I, I feel bad that I let you down there. No, no, no you, didn't, like you didn't. You didn't. You didn't. But I've watched a lot of interviews with you, and, and you're a hard person to get to know. Get in there and just, you know. Right. I'm sure you, you've been told that before. Uh... Not so much. But really? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll try hard. Oh, no, I have one more thing, because I want to talk tennis with you real quick. Um, listen, the, the, the rankings, the men's rankings are all over the place, and I know that you're good friends with, with Roger. Um, can he win another Grand Slam? Yeah, he's going to win At the his US age? Open. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, I think so. He, well, he could have won the French. I mean, he's pretty good in the semifinal. He had yeah. match points, three match points to uh -huh. win the final, so I don't know. But U.S. Open, that's where my money is. Okay. Not all of it. Okay, that's all I got. Thanks so much, Kevin.